Thanks for checking out Macatar Mania. Today, we are diving into lesson number four in my Head Rush for Beginner series. This one is about my favorite feature, and it's probably yours too, unless you haven't tried it. Know what it is? That's it, the web editor. It makes everything easier. You can access all the settings on your unit directly through a desktop, laptop, tablet, or iPad screen. No bending over, no stooping down, no trying to hold a guitar while making adjustments on the floor, or even if it's on your desktop, it's a pain in the babushka. Do you know what a babushka is anyway? What the? So I wanna show you how easy it is to connect and how you can access all the rigs, all the settings on your Headrush Core, Prime, or Flex Prime. Yeah. Let's jump in, you're gonna dig this. It's easy, it's fun, and way better than bending over. <laughs> Okay, the first step is to make one setting change on your pedal, but before we do that, I wanna give you a couple tips to help it work well. First of all, make sure that you have your devices both on the same strong Wi-Fi network. You don't want it to be weak or far away from where you're working because it can disconnect. Two, if you're using some kind of a laptop or a desktop, I suggest spreading everything to full screen when you open your web browser. Now let's go take a look at my Headrush Core I'll show you the setting to change, then we'll come back to the desktop. All right, it's really easy. Just go over to the top left block here and click on that to open up the main menu. You go to global settings in the bottom right corner. Then where it says Wi-Fi, press on that. Now mine is already turned on, but it says Head Rush Remote. I'll turn it off, then I'll turn it back on to show you what happens. It will give you the web address to type into your browser bar. That's all there is to it on the unit. Now we can go back to our rig and then return to the desktop. Now that you've set up your pedal to be ready, the next thing to do is open a web browser, type in the Headrush Core address written on the menu screen, and you're good to go. I've done this many times, so all I have to do is start typing Headrush Core and it will show up automatically. There it is connects to my unit right there on the big screen. Now let's dive in. Once you're connected, the rig you had on last will show up on the screen. Check it out. We have my new easy rig here. This is the one we created in episode one of this beginner series. We edited it a little bit later, but right now we're just gonna go see all the things you can do with the web editor. Let's start at the top left of the screen and you will see something strange that is not active, even though the instructions say it should be, and that is the Headrush Cloud. There's a big H here. When I click on it, nothing happens. The instructions in the 4.1 firmware update said you can access the cloud. Not so. That's all right, it's a nice looking H. Next down, you have, you're have you already on the Edit Rig page. That's what happens when you open up the editor for the first time. Then here you can change your set lists. You can change them by clicking on this little thing on the left, or when you're in your edit rig, you can go over to this little menu at the top left and change your set list right here. You can access whatever you want. Here's my faves. It will only show up my faves. Let's go back to all rigs. And I wanna go back to the rig I was on. I can easily scroll down, that's what's so nice. So next over, you have this great big list of rigs. Love seeing it right there. Nice and big for my bad eyes. Let's work our way down the left side of the screen. And near the bottom, you'll see a tuning fork. You can turn the tuner on right from there. Nice and big on the screen. Next down, you have the global EQ settings. Check that out, bro. You can make changes. Do whatever you want right here, save it, you're good to go. Next, we have the microphone settings. We can make it active or not. We can add a preset, whatever you want. Do all kinds of changes right there. And last but not least is the main settings page. General, audio, MIDI, and expression pedal settings. All you need, it's right there at your fingertips. Now, if we look at the top right part of the screen, you'll see where you can click on to make a new rig right here. 
You can open the Assign menu here, and then you can save by clicking on the Save button. Nice and simple, just like the pedal. Over here, we can change the rig signal path. We're on a straight one right now. I can easily click it to middle split. Here's what I love about this. Any changes I make on the desktop or the tablet, whatever I'm using as my interface, will happen immediately on your Headrush Core Prime or Flex Prime unit. So check this out. Let's just make a simple change and watch what happens. I can turn this reverb off and on. Changes right on your rig. I can move things around. It changes immediately. Look at that. I can drag and drop, do whatever. I can add a new block here. Let's add something weird out of the blue. I can change the output settings. Let's just turn the rig volume up so high that someone's ears will burn. And it changes right on the pedal instantaneously. Nothing like it. Now let's get out of here and erase those settings because I don't want those. Hey, can you do me a favor real quick? Click the like button if you like this video and subscribe while you're at it. I mean, why not? Let's just ride this wave together, man. Let's learn more about guitars and gear and geeky stuff and head rush units. What do you say? A couple more things that are available to you that make it nice right on the desktop is you can have direct access to your input settings by clicking on that left button there. You have direct access to the output. You can change it, change your preset, do whatever you want. And you can also see in the top right corner, look over there real far, you'll see the DSP. Mine's sitting right between 30 and 36%. That's nice to see in case you might be overloading your unit. Let's check out how easy it is to use the Assign menu. Just click on it right there. Here's one of the units. Let's change one of these to a scene. All right, let's edit that. In switch state one, let's make the uh, glorious drive on. Switch stage two, right over there. If you don't know what that means, check out my previous video, number two on scenes. That will be off. And let's just do something like, let's turn the reverb on. Let's make a preset big theater. We'll click on save. Now, if I want to change the color of that, I'll just change it to um, change it to purple. That's cute. There's our change right there. Now, I don't know if that's a good change. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I even want that, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to change it right there. And look what else you can do right here. You can change the tempo to be current or fixed, right? You can also adjust MIDI programming, MIDI send menu right here. So for instance, I use the MVave Chocolate four button MIDI foot switch, which you should check out my video on that, which I'll link right here. I also have another MIDI video on a 10 button foot switch. I'll link that here. You can do a program change right here to change rigs. You can send MIDI, which we need to dive into that more in a future video. And you can change the exterior amp settings can be tip, ring, both, or none, whatever you want. You can adjust your pedal settings right here from the classic to advanced. I like advanced because it lets you do more. And all that's right there on that screen. You also have full access to the EQ settings in each block. So let's check that out. Let's go to the reverb and notice it shows up over here. Now all you need to do is click on this little weird looking slider menu over here right above the name of the mode, and you'll see the EQ pops up. You can turn the EQ on, make some adjustments. Let's get crazy. Look at that dancing line, I like that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I don't wanna change that, but you can do whatever you want right there. And you can turn tails off and on. Everything you need to do is right in front of you. Now, what are some ways you might implement this away from your home studio or recording space. Besides using a desktop you can or a laptop, you can also use a tablet or an iPad. So imagine this, you're at a gig and you have your tablet set up on your stand and you realize, oh crap, I need to make some changes, but I don't wanna bend down. 
that's going to look dumb if I bend down on there and try to make adjustments during the show. Click, connect with your tablet or iPad, make your changes, click save. You're good to go. Good to go. Thanks again for joining me. I hope to see you again, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments section or even send me an email. I'd love to answer questions. I talked to a guy from Venezuela by email the other day. That is so cool. I love hearing from you all. Please feel free to comment or send me an email. The email address is in the bottom of the description, but I'll tell you what it is. It's pretty simple. Matt G Mania, all one word, Matt G Mania at gmail.com. Until next time, this is Matt from Macatar Mania.